After a third place finish, Manchester United knew they needed new blood. Men that could fight. Four men that would do a job that no other man could do. So let's see who they signed. First up, a Spaniards. A recognised international, 27 years of age, 21.5 million. He's got everything you need. His name is Javi Martinez. Pretty good. For years, Manchester United have needed that rock at the back. And finally, they may have found him. The Moroccan, costing 35 million with 46 caps. 29 years of age and one of the best defenders in the game today. His name, well, maybe Benashia. The return has been coming and it's about time it's happened. The Frenchman, oh, central midfield, 23 years of age, 65 million. This man can only be one man. His name is Paul Pogba. He should never have left. And finally, a special treat. English. Centre forward, 30 years of age, he's cost far too much. His best qualities include his good looks. His name is Danny Grail. Oh, looking in there and I really like it. How oh, bloody ridiculous. Oh. These four men have the chance to put their name into Manchester United folklore. They are the Fantastic Four. That might have been a bit excessive. I mean, ugh, I'm playing Stoke first. My retirement doesn't mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't know it's to stand by their new manager. Even when he buys Danny Graham, sorry. Now, before we begin, I just want to let you know there is a fifth member. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, Alvaro Dominguez can play left back, can play centre back. He's going to be used as our second choice left back. You'll see why in just a moment. I don't want him to feel left out. You know, two star ability, two star potential ability. He's past his best years, probably. He's, maybe he's at his best years. Who knows? I want him to know he's still part of the group, just not part of the, of the Fantastic Four, which we're now calling that. Quartet. So we spent 126 million on those four players: Pogba, uh, Pogba, Pogba, Benacia, Martinez, and Danny Graham. Uh, so the outs obviously had to happen. Bastian Schweinsteiger being the first off to Tottenham. It was on 200. I mentioned this in the episodes recently. 240 grand a week. Tottenham have got him on 150. Good for them. He's a good player. He just isn't worth the money that I may have been paying for his contract week in, week out. So I thought it would be best spent elsewhere. Paul Pogba seemed like an obvious choice. Uh, so that was sort of how that all came about. Antonio Valencia uh, has gone off to Marseille for £9 million. Decent uh, bit of money for us, really. Played him three times last season. Did okay when he played, um, but we've moved him on. Though we are currently actually looking for some wingers. Uh, that's the one position we don't yet have. With two weeks to go out the window, we'll get someone in. Uh, next one then, Marouane Fellaini. Finally left Old Trafford. I figure that when you become Manchester United manager, you each get sort of one transfer, which, you know, is just forget about it. David Moyes had Fellaini. Uh, Louis van Gaal had, let's just pick one at random, Di Maria. <laughs> Falcao on loan. I mean, only one. Let's just stick to one. Uh, so, yeah, Fellaini's gone. 3.9 million off to Leicester. We played him five times last year. We got 4 million for him. Ignore how much he cost. It wasn't my fault, was it, David? Uh, Tyler Blackett and Sam Johnson uh, have both left the club too. Blackett on a loan deal to Crystal Palace. Sam Johnson has left to Stoke for 875,000. The biggest transfer, as you can see there, Juan Mata, 54 million pounds. Uh, had quite a few injuries last season for us. Didn't play as many games as I would actually have hoped he would have done. In the 30 games, did get eight goals and seven assists, but 54 million for a player that is, what, 20? Eight years of age, it seemed like good business to me, and it doesn't. He doesn't actually fit what I want to play going forward. So I figured we'd move him on, take the money, invest it back into the squad, uh, and that's what we've done. Daily Blind for eighteen million, probably our best bit of business actually. Uh, Daily Blind featured thirteen times last season and never did that well for us. They also kind of made a profit on what was. A confusing transfer at the time by uh, Mr. Van Hal, but there we are. Then I mean, the United fans going, he was perfect. He's a great signing. All right, 
hushy noise. Um, Daily Blin then 80 million off to Napoli. Uh, and that's kind of why we've brought in the players we have done. If you take a look at our starting 11 for today's game against Stoke, the links are all, oh, they're flying in. Um, you can see here, this is the team we intend to set up with. Uh, although I do want to play Phil Jones this season ahead of Rojo, but uh, Phil Jones picked up an injury not that long ago. I also want to play a turbo out on the right, but Marshall has learned to play there, or Martial has learned to play there. So he's going to start there for us today. Uh, so let's take a look at today's team. Damian and Luke Shaw on either wing. Fullback, so important in this formation. Uh, hopefully we get the best out of them. Rojo and Benacia in the middle. Uh, you can say Benatia or Benacia. I tend to go with Benacia, but Benatia if you wish. Uh, Martinez playing as the defensive midfielder. When I said he's got everything you need in that sort of intro bit, he really does. If you look at the stats he's got uh, for what we're playing, his passing is like his, weak, his weakest, weakest aspect. Acceleration maybe, but it's not vital for where he's playing. Uh, but everything else is in the 16s, 15s and higher. Really, really good, apart from determination, but ignore that. So I think he'll do really well to fit in there. Then Bele is the box-to-box -box midfielder. Look, when you're creating a dream team, you've already got to have stars. Moussa Dembele is one of those. I'm going to prove a point with this boy, I tell you. Paul Pogba as the att uh, advanced playmaker, the attacking playmaker in the midfield. I mean, I'll show you his stats. You know what he's like. If you've played football manager at all in the last two years, you know he's absolutely phenomenal. Um, delighted to get him in. 200 grand a week. Cost quite a lot of bit of uh, a little bit of money. I think he actually goes up to 72 million, but it's sort of 65, a sort of the bulk fee, uh, depending on some clauses. Marshall on the left, Memphis on the... Uh, sorry, Mef Memphis on the left, Marshall on the right, and Marata will be starting up front, although we do have, obviously, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Danny Graham, who, uh, just for match fitness purposes, doesn't get into the squad today. It's nothing to do with quality... It's just to do with... All right, fine. Uh, James Wilson. <clears throat> there we are. Lovely. So yeah, finance-wise, 182 million still left in the bank. We also have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of money still to spend. 68 million. As I've said, I am looking for wingers. Uh, hopefully, we can bring some in. If you've got any suggestions for wingers, maybe leave them in the comments section down below and let me know what you think of the transfers that we've made. Uh, best one, worst one. I mean. Uh, yeah also sales maybe if you think i've made a good sale or a bad sale let me know comment section down below that's what it's for so then if you enjoy the video at this point do leave a like and let's get into today's first game of the premier league season uh, and what i'm going to do after this game is show you a few of the transfers made by other clubs or i might leave that to our next episode oh we'll see right then uh, we're going with an attacking formation the instructions are as follow high tempo playing as wide as we can as much width as possible closing down much more although th these all might all come down a little bit uh, more direct passing again it's kind of counter-attacking but not counter-attacking because we want to just attack from the off uh, be more disciplined because I just want them to stay where they want to be uh, stick to positions I do want to keep a good shape and everything else actually is kind of up for decision making early in the season don't want to overload the team with too much I just want them to work hard um, so yeah okay submit team Stoke Danny Graham what number do we give Danny Graham I think 99 99 Danny Graham there we go because his hair looks like a flake Okay, first team talk of the season. We'll go with a passionate. A team such as ours should be winning without any problem at all. Uh, a few fitness issues in terms of match sharpness, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Dembele being the main cause for concern. Uh, we've got players on the bench that we can bring on. Sven Bender and Herrera. A couple of options. So then, let's see how the new Manchester United do. Uh, Paul Pogba, fantastic signing for me. I've got to say, I'm hoping he can score some bangers uh, and Dembele can play with him and off him uh, this season. Also looking for a huge season out of Alvaro Morata and if he doesn't start performing Zlatan and Danny Graham will be on him like a like a sniff. Uh, the one man that is disappointed with the transfers I've made is James Wilson who's now effectively been replaced as the fourth choice striker with a 30 year old uncapped Englishman. Then again he's been playing behind Wayne Rooney for the last few years so he knows what that's like. Apart from the fact he's got a lot of caps and goals and is Wayne Rooney but tough choices sometimes have to be made right early going here not much is going on uh, I'm only doing one game today because I've got transfers to do and whatnot. Uh, ball plays in oh Benashia with the header and Jack Botland England's potential future number one with the save with the save don't know why I said it like that like I'm really upset about something but I'm not really but, but this is how this is how sometimes girls talk when they're like oh I'm not even bothered about what you've just done but actually I am so I'm going to put this voice on and you're going to realise and then you're going to get really annoyed with me when I get really angry and please screw a goal someone's going to stop this voice and they've not and if you are female that's not offensive that's just sometimes how I'm spoken to by you and Anthony Marshall scored which for now means I have to keep that first bit in <sighs> shit when I say girls or women I don't mean my girlfriend. She would she would never do that, okay? She's not that sort of girl. Anthony Martial, good volley at the back post. Playing right wing today, getting himself a goal. Lovely stuff. And that takes us to a 1-0 lead, which we can take into half-time, hopefully. But as I say that, 
Uh, it's a Stoke City attack, maybe, or some possession at least. We're closing it down very nicely, actually. I'm not giving him much time on the ball. Much. What's he going to do with it? Place it back out to the wing on this right hand side. Cut in. Oh, Bojan into the box. Oh, De Gea with a good save. Man managed to keep De Gea. No one actually came in for a bid for him. Uh, I think his contract is quite off putting at this point. Uh, but we're not going to get a keeper better than De Gea, probably. So I, th I figure don't sell him because there's no point now. So thank you, Manchester United's fax machine, for messing it up. Because now I appreciate it. Okay, free kick. Memphis has put it in. Luke Shaw at the back post. It's the post. Well, Luke Shaw is not known for being in and hack. It's a oh, ten minutes to go. I made a promise to myself that if we were if we were leading, then Danny would come on. If Danny Graham scores, I don't know what we do. What do we do? I mean, he's he's known for a late debut. He's known for magical moments. Oh, good grief! If he does, time's ticking away. It's looking unlikely. It's a shame because I think we'd have all liked to have seen it if they score now. That will be disappointing. Oh, good grief. Luke Shaw clears it. Danny Graham's going out to meet it. Oh, and he's, he's missed the ball completely. Lustenberger. Oh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Zlatan has just kicked off. Zlatan is kicking chairs. Oh, God. He's just been, he's, he's gone. Okay, come on, striker. Get on here. He's, he's got up. Tracksuit off. Walking up. Oh, all right, boss, I'm here. Sorry, Danny. Danny. Danny, get off your game, boy, Danny. Got a game to play, mate. Come on. Game Boy. I don't know why Danny Graham is back in the like 2001 era. But he's old school, so that's probably why. Okay then, so we'll start the season off well. A 1-0 victory over Stoke. Quite a simple result to uh, to start off or start us off with. What we will do is take a little look at the transfers uh, that have gone else that have gone on elsewhere in the Premier League. I'm I'm interested, that's all. Okay, so some of the big moves, the two biggest are well with my involvement. We've signed Pogba for sold matter. Uh Jose Gea has come in from Valencia and gone to City, as has William Carvalho, some big transfers there then. Uh Andre Samaras from Benfica, who actually I think he scored against us when we played Benfica, has gone to Arsenal with Kevin Volland, Eric Dyer's gone to Manchester City, Iosi Perez, 22 million that's gone off to Real Madrid. Uh, elsewhere, I can't see too many big ones. I guess you can look through the list yourself uh, and see what you can see. Uh, as you can see there, Schweinsteiger down the bottom. Uh, Jekko's finally moved on. A few other interesting ones. Anyway, there we are then. Uh, that is going to bring us to the end of the episode. A bit of a transfer -y special. Did something different with the transfers at the beginning. I hope you liked it. If you've enjoyed today's episode, do leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. And I'll see you again. From me, Dr. Benji. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>